What's up, sports fans? This is FJB with Sports Editor TV. Um, I came to talk to you guys about one thing. This is the NBA versus the NFL. Normally, I'd be getting all excited and all crunked about football coming up. Um, to be completely honest, as much as I love football and as much as I love to watch football, anybody who knows me knows I love the WNBA. Okay. I love this big three. I love the NBA. As I get older, and I'm not going to lie, the politics as being thrusted into football is simply just making me not enjoy it so much. Um, I will watch the Super Bowl every year. I will watch the Super Bowl every year. I will watch most of the playoffs if I'm not working. Um, basketball, man, between the big three, the NBA, the WNBA, basketball is such an uptick for me than what it used to be. It's more enjoyable now than when I was a kid. And when I was a kid, anybody who knows me, that Timmy crossover was the hardest thing you had ever seen in your life. Nobody had a better crossover than Tim Hardaway. <sighs> I'm 34 years old. And I can honestly say that... Uh, I'm really, really loving basketball right now. And I wouldn't say so much that football is fading with me. It's just football is fading away around me. Um, I don't know if football is becoming less interesting because of what's surrounding it. football or if the NBA is just so much more interesting now. Um, if there's basketball on, there's some, you, you can't take your mind off of it. Basketball lasts longer. The stories are now seemingly better than the NFL's. Uh, Every, every every NFL season, there's a comeback story that's just wonderful to hear. But in light of Colin Kaepernick doing what he did, some things I do agree with what he said, and mostly I don't agree with him. Um, not I'm just talking about the football part, not the stance he's taking. Um... I don't really believe him to be a credible starting quarterback in NFL. I think he became a hypocrite once he sued the NFL when he claimed that, you know, the NFL was so many different kind of monsters, um, which he said. Uh, keeping the Colin Kaepernick thing out of this, The football offseason really has just begun for football season. And football players are already talking about kneeling and being suspended for what they believe in. I'm not even going to entertain the thought or even watch it. I'm not going to boycott the NFL like some of my friends and fans have. Um... But I don't see myself watching football either. Um, October will come around. Basketball will start on Halloween. Well, at least for me. Um, my boycott of the Hall of Fame will stand. 
Why is the camera doing that? My boycott of the Hall of Fame will stand. Um, seeing one of my favorite players being treated like like crap. Uh, really isn't fair to me. And now that he's allowed to go in, T.O., you don't go into the hall the way everybody else did. I refuse to watch the hall. I am not a Dallas Cowboy, 49er, Bills, Bengals, Eagles fan. But there was something about T.O. on the field. Man, what is wrong with my camera? T.O. on the field was the second greatest receiver I had ever seen. Even when he was double teamed, he used to find a way to outmaneuver him. Just like Jerry Rice used to. Oh yeah, we all forget, Jerry Rice is the one who trained that cat. <laughs> you guys are wondering where that attitude came from, where that mentality came from. He was trained by Jerry Rice. If Jerry Rice had the media back in his day, I wonder what people would really think of Jerry Rice. Even though Jerry Rice has obviously calmed down from what he used to be. Um, <laughs> again, that's a, another story. I love the NFL. But I, don't know this, I do know this for a fact. The NFL does not love their fans. The NBA... They love their fans, and the fans feel it. Um, I've been to one football game in my life. Um, two football games, actually. Um, I've been to two hockey games in my life. Really exciting, really exciting. Football... If you don't know the game, for people around you, it's just like a baseball game. You go there and you eat the food and you talk to other people. It's not about the game. Basketball games. When you go to a basketball game, it's exciting, it's electric. And I'm talking about years ago, and I used to watch them all the time for free while I was there at work. But, um... This is just very personal because I'm not done with football, but the NFL is done with the common fan. And I wouldn't consider myself to be a diehard because I have responsibilities in my life, which most of you do. And what is up with this camera doing this again? Um, I love you football I love you NFL I will come to visit I've just grown up and I got a new number one in my life and it's basketball I love basketball I've always watched a tournament. I enjoy college somewhat. Um, but I love the NBA. I love the big three. I love the WNBA. NFL. I love you Titans. I always will. I love you Cardinals. I always will. You just have to take a back seat. In the NFL, whether if you realize this or not, you guys did this to yourself. And don't think I'm alone. I'm not alone in this. There are so many more people that feel the same way I do. You're about to have a lot of people take a back seat to the NFL for not only the way you treat the fans, but for the way you treat your players. Nobody wants to see that anymore. That's why in a case even like Le'Veon Bell, somebody who hate Pittsburgh Steelers their whole lives, will even root for Le'Veon Bell 
who I believe is an overrated running back to get that contract because you guys use up your players and you don't celebrate them. And then when it comes time to celebrate them in the NFL, you let riders deface your greatest stars. Now I agree the NFL Hall of Fame is unique. And in the NBA, everybody gets in. But the reason why everybody gets in is because basketball is so unique. Basketball is so uniquely small, it's sad the NFL yes you have been successful financially but your players do not bow gracefully you guys do great financial business but you don't do good business um I just, I can't love you like I used to anymore. I love basketball, have always loved basketball. I didn't know how much I loved basketball until the last two years watching football. And how much I miss my friend... Uh, Big Chief he'll tell you man Big Chief Daddy on IG by the way if y'all want to hit him up he'll tell you Joey Brown likes that boring old school football when I see mud and rain and when I see a score of 10 to 3 or 6 to 3 or 3 to 0 <laughs> That's how you know somebody earned their paycheck that day. But you guys took the muscle out of football because you guys thought it was creating more harm than good. What you guys are accounting for is speed. Players are so... You got 300 pounders that are running almost four or fours. When you're getting hit with that much weight, power, and aggression against somebody who's smaller you're going to get hurt and now you're taking practice away from the coaches so physically you cannot prepare these people for what they go through and you're wondering why there's more injuries in the NFL <laughs> and as soon as practice starts guess how many torn ACLs we're going to have at least set at least because that one guy didn't try and prepare that one guy didn't trend guess what that one guy is now multiplied to like 10 so this year alone, you're probably going to have 15 to 20 torn ACLs, which will be the most in history, because you're taking the preparation for football out of football, and then trying to say, well, oh, you can't hit people like that in this game. I'm one of those people that are gladly waiting for the XFL, where hopefully some old school football can be restored and practiced and blood, sweat, and effort can be put back in a football. The last two football players who transitioned from an old era to new era, Terrell Owens and Peyton Manning, I can name a few more that I personally used to watch, but those two, I am waiting until Peyton Manning goes to the Hall of Fame. And I will not watch this year's Hall of Fame. NFL, this is how you make some of us fans feel. There's some things that you should be doing. And then there's some things you shouldn't be doing. Sorry, NFL. I, I can't give you my life anymore. I can't do it. You don't deserve it. And for those of you fans out here watching, you guys understand exactly what I'm saying.
I know this is a real long sports act TV, and normally I'm electric and I talk about a certain sport, but this one's personal. I watch, played football. I watch more football than I played. <laughs> Football, you did this to most of us. NFL, you real weep with yourself. Unfortunately, financially, you're not going to get it. You might get richer, you might get more billions because of your legal betting, because of your uh, now placing more teams and more financially friendly and Jacksonville Jaguars, you guys are most likely next. You guys are probably going to England. Going to London. Go to London! Good luck. And to all of you NFL players, whether if you sit or stand, I could care less. But financially, get your money. Do not let these rich economy plantation owners Say what you're worth. Get what you can. Think of how Daryl Rivas did it. That dude got more money doing exactly what he wanted to do for the exact amount of time he wanted to do it. Get your money. Hold out. Make the NFL pay you for what you're worth because you guys are putting more on the field and paying more than what the NFL is paying you. Deion Sanders don't understand what he said when he met, when he said, when he said, pay the man. Every single one of y'all is men, and they need to pay y'all right. And this salary cap thing, don't let it be about none of y'all business. Y'all worried about the team, y'all worried about winning. In this situation where they gonna take your life, I don't care if you white, black, Mexican, Puerto Rican, I don't care. Get your money. Because the NFL is going to ruin you and they're going to ruin everything you're about. Get your money, NFL. I'm not saying tear the NFL down. I'm saying if the NFL is going to use you, you better get business right and you better use them. The NBA, they give money to their players. Yeah, I know there's a whole conversation. Well, there's 72 men to a team in football. Oh, I'm sorry, 56. And they're trying to get it to 72, which you guys won't get in a bargain because there's too many of you guys that's not thinking about long term. There's too many of y'all thinking about tomorrow when you should be thinking about today. And today, you should be worried about your health and your family and the man upstairs. So that's why I'm saying, if you guys can afford it today, get your money. Today. Don't wait till tomorrow. Don't wait till after the season. Le'Veon Bell. Don't you play a game until you get paid. Not one. Hey, and if you happy with getting your 14 or 15 million for this one season, hey, then do it, man. Do it. Do it to the best of your ability. But make sure that's what you feel like you're worth. Do it. Antonio Brown, you almost did the same thing, man. Julio Jones, if this video somehow gets to you, get your money. Do not settle. You are not in the sport. You are not living the lifestyle of somebody who should settle. I'm not saying I know your life like that. What I'm saying is, is I know the sport you do when we watch you on Sundays. We know what you go through. We see those DBs trying to take your knees out. We see them trying to take your ankles out. Oh, yeah, which is all legal now. They can't go for the chest or the head. Julio Jones, do not let them take your livelihood. Insure yourself. And if you're not insured, get insured. And if you can't get what you paid, get what you're owed. Because you've put so much more on the table than what you've gotten. Calvin Johnson, I know you're retired. If you come back, you better get what's yours. I know some of y'all going to think I'm crazy. Going 20 minutes into this video, yelling at the NFL. I'm not saying the NFL needs to end. I'm saying the NFL needs to change. 
Somebody needs to say something. It gets aggravating. This is FJB. And this is my video document to the NFL. Saying you need to change. And the NBA. You got another lifelong fan ahead of you. I don't know if I'll ever develop the 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 chords that I had with football with you NBA. Um, the big three, you you gonna get them chords. You already got them. I, I it's exciting. Ice Cube, I'm with you all the way. Man, I know this turned into a one man show over 20 minutes long. I'm sorry, but sometimes you just gotta get it all out and. I'm FJB, and this is how it's going to be. NBA, Big Three, WNBA, love y'all. Especially the WNBA. Man, Mike, Michael Cooper's coaching my team, y'all. <laughs> the New York Liberty, dog, Mike Coop, man. I just hope you get our girls together. I know it ain't looking too pretty right now, but it takes time. You know this just as much as I do, so I'm going to be patient. I'm a patient man. I'm a realist. I'm patient. Um, also, uh, like I said, uh, Titans, Cardinals, I love y'all to the day I die. Excuse me. I love y'all to the day I die. I'm sorry we got mixed up like this. Organizations. The business you're in is not the problem. Is the overall brand that you're dealt with, which is the NFL Shield, that's the issue. Um, have a blessed and great day. This is FJB, and I'm out.